Blake Williams. Bill Kerr. Oops, I hit the mic. Yeah, don't hit my mic. No, okay. just kidding. <laughs> uh, what do you got in your hand there? I got a checkered flag. Last year I didn't even make it to the summit, so I'm pretty stoked to be up here right now and take the class win. It's wonderful. Uh, tell us about your ride up today. Yeah, well, it started off reasonably good in the bottom sector. I cut one of the corners a little tight and it dipped down, bounced, stepped out sideways, and I thought, oh, great, not again, it's all over. And uh, no, nah, saved it, but I lost a bit of uphill speed in there. and. I just kept my foot down and uh, I could see the timer. I went through uh, the qualifying sector at the same time at 4.30, so it, it felt pretty good, but um, pinned it to win it. it, got, it the track was a lot hotter than what it has been in the practice, so there was a lot of sliding under brakes and, and through a few of the corners, but um, I think there was a three or four corners where I knew I should have lifted a little bit on the throttle and I got a bit excited on race day and, and kept it flat. So uh, it was a good time and um, it's quite, I was on the edge a little bit, but not to any point where I was felt like I was driving too silly. So it was a fun trip up. Happy to be here. I'd just like to thank Yokohama for giving me the awesome tires and the opportunity. My coach, Jeff, Nitro, Nola Sport, everyone that's got me here. So it's, uh, yeah, I had to wait more than 12 months thanks to COVID. It was like 14 months I was stewing on this since I didn't make it up last year. And um, I've been thinking about that day ever since. Wonderful. And, and how does it, you know, this is not an easy race. For it's anybody. not an easy race, especially for someone. I haven't sat in a race car since last year. So, um, yeah, I'm a dirt bike guy. I'm two wheels. I do backflips. So um, here you're not meant to flip, and I haven't flipped yet. I've spun out, but um, no flips. So, yeah, I learned a lot last year. Uh, I learned you really got to respect the mountain. I come in a little bit hot, and Travis is partly to blame because he was calling me all sorts of names, telling me to keep my foot down. But that's Travis. So, uh, yeah, he used his experience with cold tyres and cold track temperatures, and didn't get himself in hot water like me. So um, this year, I took what I learned last year and I, all four practice days went awesome and felt good, felt like I found the limit without going over it. And then, yeah, just put it all together on race day and something take me to the top while I was driving the whole time. So do you, did you feel like you had, you had made the best time when you pulled um, in? Well, definitely, there was a couple of errors that maybe could have knocked maybe five seconds off but as far as um, track temp and everything it was, it was sliding a lot once you got up to the middle section so yeah definitely sliding under brakes and once I had that feel like a lot of the fast corners up top I'm like I'm not really that brave to to go in too hot and try and push it that extra if it's gonna slide so yeah all in all I think I lost about uh, you know eight to ten seconds on each sector overall um, after halfway so it's yeah I mean it could have been faster but it's track temp it's the mountain there was no snow, there was no bad weather, so you should be just happy there was sunshine. Yep, sure thing. And uh, what what are what are you driving today? Uh, I'm in the GT4 Porsche from uh, Nola Motorsport, and uh, it's a spec car, we're in a spec class here. So um, on the Yokohama Advan AO52s, and they're an awesome street tire. Obviously our class, we're on street tires and no tire warmers, so you really got to have a lot of confidence quick. And um, yeah, we scrubbed in the tires on the last practice day, went up there, and they, they were awesome from the get-go. So I had a little slide, but that was my own fault from hitting too much curve on the inside or too much gutter but uh, yeah they were awesome I had a lot of confidence in them um, just pushing it and the extra heat you know they got a little, a little hot but you know it's, a, it's in a 10 almost 11 minute run for me so they're, they're going to get a bit of temp in there when you're pushing so hard sure thing well once again congratulations for making Woo! it and uh, hopefully we'll see you here next year oops hit the mic again hey. yep hopefully we'll be back next year and then hopefully for the hundred so um yeah, if I repeated my performance from last year and damaged cars and spun out, I, I wouldn't have got a call this year. So I made it this year, so I reckon I might be able to weasel my way and come back next year. But uh, yeah, it'll be fun. Hopefully we can get Travis back up here. And um, yeah, so I've got I've got the title now. He's going to have to come and take a shot at it. You're right. Tell Travis we miss him and uh, yep. we'll see you Well, on. I FaceTimed him earlier and all he did was call me names because uh, I was slower than his time. Tell him to be nicer. We'll start staging sheep in the middle of the road yeah for him every yeah year. Well, he reckons he come to a complete <laughs> stop last year you watched the in car he was about to break for the corner anyway he weaved through him complete stop my ass i know full of shit well all yeah. right thanks thank for you having so me much. thank you pikes peak thank you to all the volunteers uh, all the staff that made this happen especially with covid uh awesome job thank you so much see you guys Woo!